Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me Ice Shinobi. Today we are starting part four on Netflix. Again, I know you guys said the parts don't really matter, but it's it's kind of like a turning point because it's like kind of like the chapters for me at least. The dwarf in the flask. So last episode we we ended with all of them being kind of snowed in and them finding out that the fort up north is not safe anymore. General Armstrong is gone. She's been relocated, unfortunately. Basically, my hero of the show, my one of my favorite characters, very quickly is been kind of torn out from her position not even sure what's happening with her right now because we haven't gotten an update since she was removed they basically sent out al to kind of warn everybody in the northern or the, that we're going to the northern fortress that it's not safe there anymore basically like the government like central has made their reach all the way that far now i don't even know if there's anywhere safe so we're gonna hop right into it the only thing we have to worry about is holding down this fort as for the general well i'm sure the tigers in central will make sure she's taken care of no how nice to see you they posted you in Central Mustang. No, it's solely based on merit. That's rich coming from you. We know how she loves what Colonel Mustang. Today, General? I think she'll gain a lot of respect for him knowing what he's had to put up with. For an extended stay, I imagine. Well, sometime we should grab some dinner. <laughs> Your treat? I hope you know I could eat you into bankruptcy. Uh, he's maybe like, we should skip dinner do it. You're short on both money and nerve, huh? Maybe I could offer some flowers instead. If only she saw how, what he had to put up with. There with are many fine flowers. Lust. Here in Central may enter. She's such a straightforward person. I love her. He better not hurt her. Now then, General Armstrong, we need to talk about General Raven's recent disappearance. Just what have you done? I won't be able to hide it. He all. knows. Pardon me, Your Excellency, but I simply don't understand how you can employ someone as careless and incompetent as General Raven. Is that the reason you saw fit to dispose of him? Surely you don't need him. It can't be good to have someone so talkative on your senior staff. You have me intrigued, General. What did Raven say? Immortality. Your Excellency's identity. She's playing it's into it pretty hard. Things without any prompting. I mean, kind of true, actually, yeah. And after learning all of this, you still responded to my summons? Yes, sir. I assume you'll be needing someone to fill that fool's Let's go, baby! Play into him! <laughs> she kind of has to. Interesting. I like the way you play. Very well. The eye. You can have General Raven's seat. But as I expect you'll understand, my men will take over Fort Briggs. Agreed? Of course, as you wish. She had to. My soldiers are extremely strong and well-trained, sir. I guarantee they will serve you well, Your Excellency. Mm. I'm sure they will. I appreciate the sacrifice, General. They're literally a sacrifice. He will literally murder them all. It's necessary. Uh, what is it, a land of blood a that he needs? Cub, you have to enter her den. It seems like the General's landed herself right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now this place is theirs, too. Although our leader might be gone. We still stand as one. It's not like they're empty without her. With one will. Yeah, they're a very tight knit That's group. Fort Briggs way. Oh, they're gonna fight back! The bears <laughs> fight the tigers. Let's go, baby! Homunculus, the dwarf in the flask. The dwarf is in the this flask. Spot taken? No. I guess it's kind of yummy. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, see for yourself. I have to work through every meal, or I can't keep up. Sounds like this is gonna be a dull conversation. The shadows, dude. Oh, I hate it. Scar is up in the north. They have to communicate the somehow. The brothers are up there as well. I see. She's playing a fine line here. Oh. My former classmates Lucy and Ian are stationed up there. They like to keep me informed. Aren't the north and east conducting joint exercises this spring? Yes, I think you're right. Tapping. About I hope Major Miles and Buccaneer don't show us up like they have in the past. Miles. Buccaneer. Okay. It's a secret code. Look, Ida and Sugar all spoke to her too. Havoc. Oscar. Homunculus. Mike. Uni. Then Uni and Lucy again. Uni once more. She's telling him who's it, who the first homunculus is. Yeah. Salim Bradley is a homunculus. Let's go, Hawkeye. Had a girl. But then. There is no such thing. Nope, not in the Central. What in the world is about to happen? The here more in and more they do these really wide shots of Central, it just I feel like it's like supposed to be a reminding factor of what it's made for, what it's used for. Young man. Hey, you there. Oh no. It's alright. Look, over here. The father's backstory? Um, yeah. Hey now. Can't you at least bring yourself to act a little surprised or something? Is this dwar the dwarf in the flask? Surprised. You show no fear. I like that. I'm number 23. Not your number. How number? How can you tell me your real name? Like I'm the... a slave. 
I don't have one. You mean a person without any rights or freedoms? Someone trafficked and deeded as a possession? Hmm. Deeded? What's that? It's when a piece of property is transferred like the to another person. People in the um huh? the laboratory had Since numbers. You're not all that bright, are you? Hey, get out of here! How could I possibly have been born from someone as stupid as you? From? You are the one who gave me blood, right? Th it looks kind of like the thing. I guess so. He said he was going to use it for an experiment. In the place where Ed and Al's bodies today. are. Because you gave me your blood. Number 23 isn't going to cut it. I think I'll give you a name of your own. Give me a name? Who are you? You'll want a noble sounding one, right? Theo. Theophrastus Bombastus. That's too long. Bombastus. Oh yeah, you're not that smart. Hey you, I'm plenty smart. Well, how about Von? Von Hohenheim. How does that sound? So Von Hohenheim, huh? I so that's not the father. That. I don't need to read and write to do my work. Your slave work. So Hohenheim was a slave? Don't you even want freedom? Are you going to live out the rest of your life as a slave? In that case, you're no different from me. Trapped inside this stuffy flask. Let me teach you, Von Hohenheim. What do I call you? I'll tell you what, Von Hohenheim. Oh, you that's can call me the dwarf in the flask, homunculus. And why is the father thinking of that? Like he's, he said, it showed him sitting there in a cut to this. All things are made from one. And in the end, all things return to one. One is all. Indeed, and all is one as well. All is ultimately of the one. So if all is not included in the one, then all is nothing. You have passed. You are now an alchemist, Hohenheim. Why does his well voice done, sound child. familiar? I'm still only fit to be an assistant. My skill is nothing near yours, master. That's definitely Salim. I'm grateful to you. For what? I live as well as I do now because of the knowledge you gave me. And I've also earned the master's respect. I'll even be able to get married and have a family. A family, huh? How inconvenient for you humans. Unless you form communities and breed, your species can't continue. <laughs> Don't call it breeding. How pathetic. Whether or not it's a concept that you're able to understand, that's where humans find happiness. We live for the bonds that we form with friends and family members. That's who we humans are. Whatever you say. Okay, then. What is it that makes you happy? I'd hate to be guilty of asking too much, but I think I'd be happy if I could just leave this flask. Hmm. He's gonna set time? it free, or... Why would someone who already has so much power and prosperity need such a thing? Watch your tongue! You are in the royal presence! If you continue with this insolence, I will smash your flask! You wouldn't dare to destroy such an important source of knowledge. That's enough chatter. Immortality. Tell me, is it possible or isn't it? Growing impatient in your old age? How lamentable, King of Xerxes. Huh. Okay, I'll tell you how you can achieve immortality. Dude, I'm trying to what connect the lines with Xerxes, for? but it's hard. Irrigation canals the kings ordered them to be dug all throughout the country that's the king for you he even cares about the well-being of us commoners yes he does oh so he told him Remember, he, there must he be no told survivors. the king how they needed to basically like make the land a blood again like where they murder everyone in the land and so that's why Hurry, quickly. gave him the secret the blood while there's still time and the irrigation canal was for the was for the mm -hmm. what an awful tragedy real tragic okay so once one is done it's lit okay especially from the information we've learned from the tunnels being dug and where the cities are being massacred at long last your transmutation circle is complete and hohenheim was a part of that so that's why he knows what's gonna happen everything is ready yes or does he take it? Immortal. He doesn't need it. He's a homunculus, right? King will achieve immortality. <laughs> or does Hohenheim take it? Because Hohenheim can't die. An amazing moment indeed. Or Hohenheim said he's not, doesn't have a human's body. Yeah, so Salim does basically swoop in and take it. Immortality. No, no, you must be wrong. <laughs> Those are the human sacrifices, and he's being used as one. If we were in the center of the circle, we wouldn't be armed. They tricked the king. Homunculus. The true center of the transmutation circle is right here where you're standing. It is? So that... Surely you remember that your blood is within me. I used it to open the doorway, brother of mine. You and I are at the center of everything. So he told him the wrong place and used them. So that's why Hohenheim is immortal. He's 
used the transmutation circle, the original transmutation circle from Xerxes. Wow. Sheesh. That's his original body being taken away. But now I, I just don't understand why the father looks so much like him. Maybe he was split into two parts, like one good, one bad. And that's the future. That's what would happen to Central. But how do multiple people achieve immortality? Like how Bradley has the table and you get a chair. I guess if you're at the center of everything. Majesty. And that, like I said, that, this is why Hohenheim knows Master, exactly what's going to happen or what's, what's happening as they speak. No, he's dead. It's just a repeat of Xerxes. Reinmeier, Tony, Mayo. Mayonnaise? Everyone's dead, except for him. Literally everyone. There must be someone left. It's no use. All of their souls have been taken from them. Oh, their master. Majesty. Oh. Are you all right? Tell me. Wait. Your body. How is it feeling? Oh! It's me. Using your blood, I created a receptacle for myself. I can walk on my own oh. two legs. Oh. Are you the homunculus? What's going on here? What What's is the difference this? between him and Selene? Thank you for your blood. And I've given you knowledge. And now, I've given you a body that will live forever. Focus your attention within yourself. You didn't even want immortality. You hear them, don't you? The voices of all the people oh in this gosh. country who were offered in exchange for your immortality. Well, half of their lives were for me, actually. I appreciate your cooperation, now and I. It all makes so much sense now. Van Hohenheim? <gasps> I knew it. Oh. Oh. She's the one that... Finally. The I father wants to use as a sacrifice too, though. And I finally get to meet the one who taught my son. I'm sure they must have been a handful. Oh no, they were fine boys. <coughs> Let me get your medicine. May I have a look at her? I'm all right. No, you are not all right. Find us a car, quickly. Hurry! Right. She's been I'm sick for it. a while. Go, sick, go! Mrs. Uzumi, you have seen the truth. Oh, he just wanted a minute what with her. What did you sacrifice? Please be honest with me. My insides were taken. I was trying to bring my child back to life. I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he has to be helping her. He has to be helping her. Calm down, dear. Please. I'm all right. He shoved his hand into you. But my breathing... It's easier. He helped her. How can that be? There's no wound. Your organs were taken away as a testament to your sin, and they cannot be brought back. But I did rearrange your entrails somewhat to improve the flow of blood. Suzumi, How? you cannot give in to your fate just yet. You are the boy's father, but who, who are you? I am a philosopher's stone in the form of a man. That's what I am. Dude, I was like, man, that clears a lot up. And then that happened. And I'm just like, how did he rearrange it? And there's not even a wound. So that clears up so much behind why we got the, like, why he's immortal. I'm still a tad confused on whenever it showed how he, like, had blood come out of his chest and fall onto the ground. Unless those were, like, just the child sacrifice, or those were, like, just the sacrifices in general from Xerxes. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there is a post credits. Okay, so we'll wait on that. Like, one of the comments said, it's just to clear so many things up and it really did it makes a lot more sense now on why the father looks exactly like him it's literally like a part of him split off now my only question once again is the relationship between the father and salim because isn't the first i thought the first homunculus was salim unless he's like two parts like salim is one part of it and the part split off from hohenheim is the other part that's the only part that's a little confusing i'm not sure if that's even meant to be cleared up yet but either way i'm really glad we got that cleared up because it's building this world more and more on how we can understand why everyone is the way they are and why the father looks like hohenheim and what happened in xerxes and how hohenheim's immortal it's very nice so like i said it's just nice having all of this kind of the sorcerer's stone the celestial stone grand elixir the philosopher's stone is known by many names it's not necessarily a stone the one Dr. not necessarily a stone a the one that kimberly has is similar to a crystal you say it has incredible power i would have expected it to be a little bigger than that i've never seen one that's much bigger than a small pebble 
cuts to his father. A philosopher's stone that big to have to kill thousands of people. Oh, possible, so the more people see. involved in the sacrifice of one, the larger the stone physically. I mean, that makes sense because they literally massacred that many people. It was split into two, two separate people. That's how many were involved in the massacre. That must be why the transmutation circle is the entire country because they have so many people that they need to make into basically a living, walking philosopher's stone. That's so interesting, man. Just like I said, the world building is incredible. With that being said, hope you guys have a wonderful for rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.